Welcome to another tutorial on MATLAB. In this series, we are looking into the aspect of state flow and the aspect of code generation in a model based design approach. So basically in the last tutorial, we have gone through the plant modeling. We have gone through the controller modeling. Then we have solved uh, the algebraic loop part. Uh, what is an algebraic loop? So to view all these, you can see the previous videos. In this video, we will look into how to debug a state flow chart and verify with different inputs whether your state flow chart is behaving properly or not. So let's look into the same. So this is the state flow chart. When I try to simulate, it is running properly. Now, suppose I want to debug at certain point, like then I need to set some breakpoints. So when the breakpoint is active, then we will have the simulation post and we want to see at which scenario it is uh, stopping or pausing in the con complete logic. So we are setting breakpoints at individual transition when the system is working. So let's step into the simulation. Now you can see over here the uh, system is working properly now because the inputs are proper and there is no fault in the system so that's why it is not entering into uh, the safe mode due to the brake fault or the acceleration fault then it is directly jumping into the working state and once uh, the working state is active by default we have defined this acceleration state as the default state which is indicated with the help of this particular arrow which is called a default transition and once it enters into this particular acceleration state and uh, when the particular uh, transition becomes valid from the acceleration to the brake state then the simulation is being paused over here and the green means uh, the transition is going to be validated and with the help of this you will be able to see what are the different uh, variable values over this simulation so here we have distance s2 so the uh, simulation uh, is going into the break mode because uh, when we have the distance um, when we have distance less than two then the simulation should uh, go into the um, break mode so now currently the distance is below two if we see outside yeah we are still on the on state and again uh, when we try to simulate it uh, it is trying to validate all the possible transition like if it it wants to go from on to off state then it will also validating this particular transition parallelly and if it is uh, validated properly then only it will be blue otherwise it will be green uh, like it is trying to validate it that's why it is green and uh, over here also it is trying to um, enter into this particular idle state so it is trying to validate this uh, particular transition also if you see here then it is trying to validate it okay again it is trying to validate this one because if the distance is greater than three this particular transition need to be activated so um, it is continuously validating whether it is possible to go to the idle state or not now the distance is 1.99 so it is not able to go away from the uh, break state but uh, gradually when the distance will uh, increase over time because the break is now active so gradually the speed uh, between the vehicle that we are driving and the front vehicle will um, increase because the brake is active and after some point of time it will become greater than um, the 3 meter and the transition will be validated again and it will enter into the idle state so gradually this distance is increasing so now it is having uh, the brake uh, the distance is 3 meter now this transition is valid now if we step again if we step again the distance will further increase and uh, the the idle state will be activated now we need to set whether from the idle state 
is the vehicle uh, is entering into the when the vehicle is entering into the acceleration stage so when the distance is greater than 4 meter then it will enter into the acceleration stage so now if we step then it is entering into the acceleration stage because the distance is more than 4 meter now when we accelerate again the distance is going to be decreased okay it is decreasing and it is less than 2 meter so that's why it is entering again into the brake state so this is how the working logic is executing in this particular state flow model and we can verify that using uh, the breakpoints that we are uh, defining over here with the help of the dots and suppose we uh, turn off the switch then it is again jumping into this off state and every variable like the brake and acceleration is becoming zero now we will introduce some fault then it should go to the off state if we simulate again this particular fault which is related to front sensor and the rear sensor is uh, activated as a fault state now if we remove that fault then again the system is turning on as usual again if we are entering into a rear sensor fault then again it is going to off state and then acceleration fault if we are putting an acceleration fault then it will it should enter into this particular safe state okay it is entering into the safe state now once it enters into the safe state there is no way out uh, it should it will be able to go so even if you uh, change anything else or if you remove the acceleration fault it will it will not uh, make uh, the system go out of the fault state a uh, safe state so for this you need to turn on and off the feature again and then if you turn on the gear fault then the system will enter into the gear fault state so we have given the gear fault and uh, we have turned on the feature now it will try to enter into the um, gear fault state but it always will happen whenever the system is at the idle state so uh, in the working if you are at the idle state and uh, there is a gear fault then uh, the uh, gear fault state will be active if you are accelerating uh, at that moment of time if any gear fault happens then it will not go to the uh, gear fault state or even if you are in the brake state it should always enter into the idle state so this is based on uh, the current design so now we are entering into idle state and there is a fault in the gear so if we play again then it will enter into the gear fail state and uh, as we already know like once it enters into the gear fail state then the simulation will stop so here simulation got stopped so this is how uh, we can implement multiple uh, faults into this particular system so we are turning off the feature again this is to validate whether uh, the brake fault part is working or not so uh, once we turn on the feature again then it will enter into this uh, safe state because we have the brake fault active so this is how we have designed this particular controller model and we have linked the requirements properly uh, based on the requirement document and this is how we can uh, validate with different inputs uh, of to the state flow chart and uh, validate the behavior in case you are liking our channel please consider subscribing for the latest upcoming videos in case you have any comment or any suggestion please share it in the comment section so that it will help us to improve your experience of learning matlab in this channel so happy learning matlab have a good day